Hello students, welcome in chapter 7, Integration. Students, in definite integrations, today we going ahead. Second part, there is a suppositions method. Yes, according to suppositions, I take the derivative and change the limits. And after that, going to our definite integration solutions. Yes, students. So, I continue. Ex example 29. Integration given minus 1 to 1, 5x raised to 4 in under root x raised to 5 plus 1. As well as you know, under root place, suggestion t. Yes. Supposition method. Today we are going ahead, students. So, here, suppose under root terms is equal to t. So, what is the x raised to 5 plus 1? t square and take the derivative differentiation with respect to x. So, 5x raised to 4 dx 1 is 0 to t dt. Check 5x raised to 4 is this. These two are ready. So, that I apply to t dt. It means yes limit must be changed don't going further huh? I change my limits so if x tends to minus 1 this one then t tends to minus 1 the 5 bar plus 1 it means that converting to 0 and again if x tends to 1 then t tends to 1 the 5 power plus 1 it is root 2 this is my new limit and students new limit related I now continue my overall numerical in the dt with new limit 0 to root 2 so integration i 0 minus 1 then root 2 if you 1 then and here 5 x raised to 4 dx 2 t dt and that is what that is t only so my actual solution to t square dt 0 to root 2 same so my answer is a t cube by 3 and limit same 0 to root 2 indirectly constant take outside limit apply root 2 the cube minus 0 the cube now how much root 2 cube root 2 root 2 root 2 it is 2 root 2 means my answer is a 4 by 3 root 2 and happily this question students here easily done now continue example now next 30 integration similarly I going ahead 0 to 1 tan inverse x dx by 1 plus x square it is very easy 0 to 1 so students as well as this derivative for which function definitely tan inverse x so I suppose tan inverse x assumption t and differentiation with respect to x so 1 by 1 plus x square dx dt that's why I making this box now suggestion so limit change so I change my limits if x tends to 0 t tends to tan inverse 0 which is 0 this one students tan inverse x always you can change your limits in your suppositions here your suppositions continue if x tends to 1 t tends to tan inverse 1 and which is pi by 4 so my integration is 0 to pi by 4 it is t that one and that is your known dt that integration t square by 2 integrate 0 to pi by 4 so your half carry outside pi by 4 square 
जीरो स्क्वायर सो माय आंसर इज पाई स्क्वायर बाई सिक्सटीन यस पाई स्क्वायर बाई थर्टी टू योर फाइनल आंसर इजिली डन नाउ स्टूडेंट्स आई स्लोली स्लोली स्टार्ट आफ्टर दिस एग्जाम्पल अवर एक्सरसाइज ये सेवन पॉइंट टेन वेरी इजी एक्सरसाइज बट वेरी बिग एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट टेन एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट वन इंटीग्रेट जीरो टू वन एक्स डी एक्स बाय एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन यस सो स्टूडेंट्स हियर आई जस्ट अ सजेशन वेन माय डेरिवेटिव इज एक्स डी एक्स यस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन टी सो सपोज एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वन इक्वल टू टी डिफ्रेंशिएशन With respect to x, 2x 0 dt by dx. X only I want x dx. So what is the x dx? dt by 2. That much. But limit necessary you change. Uh? Yes, this topic is contained. According to suggestion, you must be change your limits. So students, here if x tends to zero, then t tends to x square plus one, zero plus one, one. If x tends to one, then t tends to one square plus one. It means t tends to two. So my integration zero then one, one then two. I add exactly dt by two, and downwards I suggest t. So half log modulus t base e a limit I have one to two. So your answer is over here log two minus log one. And what is log one? Log one is zero. So your data is half log two minus zero. Now we recall over. But if you take half upper sides, so sometimes this answer is also true. log root 2 that also true this also true now continue students second one question 2 integrate your yeah, second question is a exam oriented imp students 0 to pi by 2 Under root sine phi into cos raised to phi d phi. Yes, it is your phi is a variable. Huh? Don't worry. Always root term regarding. I assume that suggestion. So suppose root sine phi is a t. So student sine phi is a T square, and now make the derivative. Cos phi d phi 2t dt. But cos phi d phi exactly I have to phi times. So I converting one time and four times separation, and also limit change. So first of all I change my limits. If phi tends to zero, then t tends to Under root sine zero is zero, and if phi tends to ninety, t tends to sine ninety, which is one. So this phi variable now change in variable t dt. So actually my numerical is going that zero to ninety. Root sine phi same. So this here can we write down? Cos the four power n, cos the four. I mean single phi, cos phi d phi. I know. And cos the four power, we can write down one minus sine square phi, the whole square. 
how much 1 minus sin square cos square and the square cos 4 and cos phi d phi as it is this you know that also known and root sign also known and limit change now successfully 0 then 0 but 90 then 1 root sign here t so does sin square phi here sin t phi square taking so t raised to 4 again sin phi is t square sin square phi t4 the square and that will be 2t dt yes cos phi d phi is a 2t dt now anyhow i expand this so 0 to 1 t and this 2t square 1 minus 2t raised to 4 and t raised to 8 dt and here students your after that expansion you get the easily answer now students continue i this expansion and derive the one of the definite integration value so i is equal to 0 to 1 that multiply 2 t raise square continue 2 to the 4 t raise to 4 and 2 6 and students 2 t raise to 8 and 2 10 dt now you go to integrations so 2 t cube by 3 7 by 7 and 11 by 11 the limit i have 0 to 1 so 2 third 4 by 7 i put it the one huh? if you zero putting then no issue they cover to zero now here students lcm how much lcm here 3 into 7 into 11 3 present so 7 into 11 left here 7 present so 3 into 11 left and students here 2 present i mean 11 present so 3 into 7 left so now my final solution 7 to the 14 into 11 here 4th is a 12 into 11 and here 3 to the 6 7 the 42 upon 21 into 11 so my final data is 1 4 here 5 next 1 2 here 3 I mean 132 plus 42 by here 2 1 it is a 3 I mean 231 now 154 and 42 6 9 1 196 minus 132 so here student 64 by 231 and that's your 64 by 231 this is INP numerical students here done yes now I going next third one third also again very very most IMP examples this also board question eh? very very most IMP integrate 0 to 1 sin inverse 2x by 1 plus x square dx students that type numerical already I explained in indefinite integrations yes suppose x is equal to 10 theta because 2 10 theta by 1 plus 10 square theta sin 2 theta differentiation with respect to x so here dx yes x square theta d theta now students change the limits necessary change uh, if you suggestion so if x tends to 0 then apply a 0 is equal to 10 theta theta must be 0 and if x tends to 1 then if you x is 1 put it when 10 is 1 45 degree yes pi by 4 so my integration is now running 0 to pi by 4 sin inverse 2 10 theta by 1 plus 10 square theta 
and dx I have sex square theta d theta yes you easily cover your values it is sine inverse sine 2 theta and other sex square theta d theta so 0 to pi by 4 here only 2 theta and other you get in now students in LIT this algebraic that we go and I operate the rule of LIT wise you know the product rule and solutions so easily I going ahead by LIT first second integration minus in the B integrations as it is now first derivative d by d theta of 2 theta and second as it is so does here your range 0 to pi by 4 you put down there 0 to pi by 4 put down there so 2 theta is as it is is x square theta derivative integration 10 theta a limit apply 0 to pi by 4 yes here you not think about integration limits only for this one this also because this overall your criteria 0 to pi by 4 mind well so next here 2 1 here it is 10 theta d theta and 0 to pi by 4 same is so students here apply upper limits 1045 and if you 0 putting then definitely 0 here 2 separate what is 10 integrations yes log of sec theta a limit i have 0 to pi by 4 so here pi by 2 and 10 45 is 1 and here apply students here upper limit minus lower limit so log of sec pi by 4 minus log of sec 0 so you have to pi by 2 2 now how much sec 45 root 2 sec 0 1 and log 1 is a 0 this 2 you take upper side so log of root 2 square indirectly pi by 2 minus log 2 base e your answer and these are most IMP numerical students third one easily easily done now I continue slowly slowly fourth one integration 0 to 2 x with the under root x plus 2 dx one more time check 0 to 2 x with the x plus 2 dx yes students root functions so as well as root related suggestion so suppose root x plus 2 just you assume t so x plus 2 students t square x become t square minus 2 that x i apply here and derivative differentiation with respect to x that is 1 here 2t dt by dx here 0 so what is dx 2t dt and this dx students I apply here so that is your ready t square minus 2 this t and that is 2t dt now limit changing if x tends to 0 then t tends to root x plus 2 students 0 plus 2 so root 2 and continue if x tends to 2 t tends to 2 plus 2 root 4 I mean 2 and these all values now successfully we start 0 putting then root 2 here 2 putting then 2 x become 
t square minus 2. Now root x plus 2 become t and dx become 2t dt. Yes. Now easily you create your answer here students. 1 by 1. Just you multiply inside. Integration i. Root 2 to 2. These are multiplications first of all we done. In the 2t square dt. 2 t and t t square. Now you start your multiplications. And after that easily integrations. Yes students. So I slowly slowly going ahead. Don't worry. So my value is uh, i root 2 to 2 and that multiplication is a 2 t raised to 4 square and square minus 2 to the 4 t square and now start your integration t raised to 5 by 5 and here 3 by 3 other same. Now apply easily your first upper limit root 2 raised to 5 minus 2 raised to q upper limit. Now lower limit chances 2 by 5 root 2 the 5 power yes minus 4 by 3 root 2 the q power here. Now slowly slowly students I calculate 2 raised to 5 32 and 2 64 by 5. Here 2 cube 8 4 is a 32 by 3. Next 2 by 5. What is root 2 raised to 5? Root 2 root 2 is 2. Root 2 root 2 is 2. I mean 4 root 2. Total overall. And here same as students root 2 the cube. Root 2 root 2 2. I mean 2 root 2. Yes. I think uh, this I calculate by the common taking 32. So 2 by 5 and here 1 by 3. So does here also you try to make the common 4 common, 2 common, root 2 common. So 4 into 2 into root 2 common. Other are 1 by 5 minus 1 by 3. And easily you calculate your solutions. 32, 3 to the 6 minus 5 by 15. And here students 4 to the 8 root 2. 3 minus 5 by 15. So 32, 1 by 15. 8 root 2, it is minus 1 by 15. Now, you have to finish this sum easily. 4 to the 8 and 8 root 2 as it is. Now here students, 3 minus 5, my mistakes, it is 2. Minus. So 32 by 15 plus 8 to the 16, root 2 by 15. Yes, minus minus plus. And actually your textbook answer given 16 common root 2. I mean 16 common by 15 we have to common taking. And other are 16 by 15 you have to only root 2. And here 16 by 15 it is 2 only. I check the options in your answer textbook students. 16 root 2 common by 15. Yes 1 also root 2 common. Don't worry. According to textbook answer I showing here root 2 common. So other here 1 and it is root 2. Because here actually root 2 into root 2. Textbook answer up to date given. This also true students. Don't worry. Now next one. Continue question number 5. It means still up to rationalizations related you make your solutions. Now again coming next one question number fifth integration 0 to 90 sin x dx by 1 plus cos square x. So students before starting this integrations you just think about that which derivative is this definitely cos x. So, suppose students cos x is t minus sin x dx derivative dt. So, what is sin x dx? 
minus dt but change your limit first so if x tends to 0 then t tends to cos 0 and what is cos 0 1 if x tends to 90 t tends to cos 90 and cos 90 students 0 so your data 0 putting then 1 90 putting then 0 here minus dt but that is 1 plus t square now integrations minus carry outside tan inverse t and limit i have 1 to 0 students apply your limits tan inverse 0 minus tan inverse 1 how much tan 0 i mean when tan 0 0 but tan 45 here 1 power by 4 minus minus plus and easily this question will so students done now continue sixth one next one question number six this is also very very most imp very big numerical integrate my question is there 0 to 2 dx x plus 4 minus x square students so x plus 4 minus x square this numerical really really very biggest 4 marks questions first of all I arrange according to our trigonometry I mean quadrating 4 plus x minus x square x square negative so i go to last term middle term square 4 into first term 4 into minus x square minus 1 fourth correct no middle term square 4 into last term sorry my mistakes here x square negative so you find out first term and here write down last term now when you put it correct so you have to your first term is a minus one fourth so we write down here plus one fourth here minus one fourth this three and this two are same so i just taking zero to two here four for the sixteen plus one seventeen by four and here take lcm x square minus x plus one fourth and it is students your perfect square trinomial yes if you taking one by one so 0 to 2 dx that is a root 17 by 2 the square and here x minus half the square now students your formula constant square minus variable square without in root so your property is what 1 by 2 log integration formula I operate and here actually start our big journey 1 upon 2a log modulus first constant so here plus root 17 by 2 and here minus root 17 by 2 again repeat constant square minus variable square that's why first write down upper way plus and lower side minus and here students a is your root 17 by 2 same as and my limit also same as 0 to 2 so this cancel about that 1 by root 17 and here if you take first lcm and try to internal solutions 2x minus 1 plus root 17 and 2x minus 1 minus root 17 lcm lcm cancel now i start actual solution first put it upper limit minus lower limit so this upper limit if you apply 2 then 4 minus 1 here 4 minus 1 minus now chance to lower limit 0 apply so 0 minus 1 same 0 minus 1 
Now other is same as. So students, these calculations. Now I start my slowly, slowly doing. Here three plus root seventeen, three minus root seventeen, and here minus as it is. That also root seventeen minus one, minus minus common. Modulus outside positive. Root seventeen plus one. And here, students, you can take minus then divide. So one by root seventeen log of three plus root seventeen by three minus root seventeen. This multiplying reciprocal taking seventeen plus one and seventeen minus one. Base is same. Again, multiply and internal solutions. So one by root seventeen log base. This I multiply. 3 root 17 plus 3 plus 17 plus root 17 and here 3 into root 17 multiply 3 root 17 minus 3 minus root 17 root 17 is 17 plus root 17 now again further calculate students so 1 by root 17 log base e here we getting first constant 20 plus 4 root 17 and below here 3 root 17 and 1 17 means 4 root 17 and that will be minus 20 i think so 4 common and cutting upper and lower sides students if you taking 4 common so 4 fives are 4 ones are Here four ones are, and here four fives are. Again, take you conjugate. Yes, upper side and lower sides. So one by root seventeen log of five plus root seventeen root seventeen minus five. Here students, I write down root seventeen plus five root seventeen plus five. So your final data now coming. Here you multiply the whole square, five plus root seventeen square, and downwards here seventeen minus five square is a twenty-five. Modulus same running, ah? Yes. And now students, here you get after that solutions you get the answer. So students here I expanded log this expansion twenty-five. 5 to the 10 root 17 plus 17, and here 17 minus 25, 5 and 6, 7, 8, but minus 8. In modulus, ah, huh? and directly plus. So your data is finally done here in the positive way. 25 and 17, how much? 7 and 5, 12, 1 carry, 2, 3 and 4, 42. 10 root 17 by 8, only plus right, ah. Huh? Because in modulus. Now here, students, two to common and cancel. So your final destination done. Log base e. Here twenty one two za, five two za, and four two za. So twenty one plus five root seventeen by four. Yes, students, this is the final answer in your textbook answer given. Don't worry, this also true. And you just derive up to rationalization for denominator. You getting final answer. Next question seven. Integration of minus one to one dx x square plus two x plus Five students here also x square coefficient positive in the quadratic equation. So I take last term. Yes, correct you thinking. Middle term square four into first term. It is one. So minus one to one dx x square two x one. But I want to find four balance this three, and that will be perfect square. So dx by x plus one whole square, and here students two square. 
and that you getting now students easily our answer so students these are the formula variable square plus constant square yes 1 by a tan inverse x by a here x plus 1 by 2 and my limit is a uh, same as so 1 by 2 apply your limits tan inverse 1 plus 1 by 2 minus minus 1 plus 1 by 2 easily done so half students here tan inverse 1 and that is a 0 so your answer is half into when 1 pi by 4 so finally your over sum it is 4 to the 8 very short and easy numerical pi by 8 answer students continue going ahead question number 8 integration one to two one upon x one upon two x square and e raised to two x dx as it is so it is here formula operate according to e raised to x function plus derivative but check this two x is your disturbance it means 2x regarding i suggestion t you tick mark this also in imp list suppose 2x is t 2dx derivative dt so what is the dx students dt by 2 now change your limits according to suggestions so if this limit here initially extends to 1 t tends to 2x 2 into 1 it is 2 if x tends to 2 t tends to 2 into 2 it get 4 so your integration now start 1 then 2 but 2 then 4 here very carefully we put it your x value students what is your x value yes t by 2 continue here also t by 2 and e raised to 2x is e raised to t but dx is what dt by 2 now 2 to 4 same here students we write down 2 by t here same t square by 4 and that is e raised to t dt by 2 now finally done integration i 2 to 4 2 by t but that is 2 za it is 2 by t square and another is same as so it is here now we going our final formula e raised to t function plus derivative to common and cancel so i just take one more step to common 1 by t 1 by t square dt by 2 look at that this 2 and this 2 cancel that function plus derivative so you have to write down last e raised to t limit i have 2 to 4 1 by t d by dt of 1 by t this related i mention 1 by t derivative now answer e raised to t with function and formula must be write down a function plus ft plus f dash t dt it is here is to t f t correct yes but here not the coefficient same it means i therefore the suggestion wise and converting now students putting your limits by mistake i written see sorry my mistake there here 2 to 4 now operate 4 first so e raised to 4, 1 by 4. e raised to 2, 1 by 2. So e raised to 4 minus here 2 LCM, 2 e square by 4. I mean 4 LCM taking a. Now students common taking e square minus 2 by 4. 
that your textbook answer students easily and happily done i again repeat sometimes here given 3x 4x 5x you must be take suggestion you easily convert it in the way of function plus derivative related formula yes students now continue we going ahead now mcqs question number 9 yes two mcq then 9 and 10 very easy and simple way i operate that yes 9 also students very very most imp numerical 1/3 to 1 x minus x cube raised to one third x raised to four dx. Yes, this numerical is not easy, eh, students. This also danger some. Look at that here, power d one third. It means I suggest in the terms of x cube. Here I suggestion first x cube. Other x by x cube. Minus one, and total one third as it is. Dx as it is. A limit also as it is. Now one third to one. So it is x cube and one third x. This cancel x raised to minus two minus one. One third by here x raised to one and x raised to three. Because this x and this x cancel. Now, can you imagine what is derivative? I mean, which derivative of this? Definitely that. So here I assumption x square minus one t and finish my sum. So suppose x raised to minus two minus one is a t. It means derivative minus two x raised to minus three dx this zero dt. So Minus two dx by x raised to three dt. I want only this. Look at that. That's why dx by x cube. We can write down dt by two. That also minus. Huh? Now change your limit. If you assumption, then yes, here I assumption. This is my limit. So if x tends to one third, t tends to. Here putting down one third raised to minus two minus one. So here what three raised to minus one with minus two. It means three raised to two minus one. It is eight. And again, if x tends to one, then t tends to one raised to minus two minus one. Here apply I in the suggestion x place of one. Now one raised to minus two how much? One square. I mean one minus one. It means zero. It means your new limit is coming eight to zero students. And now I suggestion wise dt easily calculate this sum. Now actual start our sum. Here we ending last. So integration i. Look here, one third putting the limit eight here eight. One limit, then it is converting to zero here zero. That is cancel. That I assume is t. So here t is to one third. And what is the dx and one third cube? It is minus dt by two. Nicely done. So minus one third outside. Sorry, not minus one third, minus one half. And here t is to one third plus one, one third plus one and limit. I putting a to zero. So finally you can turn minus one half same t is to four by three. Upon here four by three. And limit again apply a to zero. So minus one half into three fourth. And here putting your limits. Upper limit minus lower limit. This cancel minus three by four to the eight zero two cube is eight. Raised to four by three. This three three cancel. You getting minus three by eight zero minus two raised to four is what? Two 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 sixteen. 
8 to the so minus 3 minus 2 your answer is only and only 6 but students this step is main step yes now i going ahead one more numerical our question number 10 yes question 10 is a logical sum just to apply a logic if fx integrate 0 to x t sin t dt then asking f dash x is this 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 very easy first we apply lit and after that take derivative but here i explain two two method one of the shortcut direct answer students taking derivative on the both side just you can take derivative then it is f dash x that side also derivative integration cancel here t sin t you can operate your limit 0 to x this is shortcut huh? x sin x minus 0 your numerical done this is a, if you mcq asking then you apply this is an illegal method but you operate x sin x and get the answer but this numerical i again explain you by the legal process students i legal process explain don't worry but if you mcq then direct you create your answer so i again explain question 10 fx 0 to x t sin t dt algebraic trigo lit students i apply lit wise first second integration in the first derivative second integration 0 to x so here fx sin t integration minus cos t limit apply 0 to x continue here 1 minus cos t 0 to x so you have to done putting upper limits here x minus cos x 0 putting then 0 here minus minus plus cos t integration sin t 0 to x so you have to minus x cos x and here sin x minus sin 0 0 minus x cos x plus sin x that's your fx coming but i want to f dash x so students f dash x you can take your derivative here also derivative so for second derivative minus sin cos x derivative 1 here also cos so x sin x minus cos x plus cos x your answer is x sin x check answer is same coming and students here this answer and this answer are same and easily you create your answer students yes now here our students our exercise 7.10 and this topic fully completed by the assumption method yes students here this part i stop and further explanation same is i explain in the next part bye bye